All right, you guys, so today, today's video, Jazz Paul's super excited because we are finally doing something that he has always been be literally begging. Like, you guys should see the text. I'm gonna throw, the, guys, te I'll throw the text conversation right here while Jazz Paul talks. Go ahead. If you guys have ever seen that movie, National Lampoons, which one was it called? <laughs> When they went to Wally World. Go to Wally, 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 The Griswolds, hey, remember that. Oh, Ever since I saw that movie. So for 22 years, I've been wanting to go on a road trip. Wow. And Derek has always said no. <laughs> because and this is the first time he's finally said yes. So I'm pumped! Yeah! It's the best time here because I'm really sad in my life and I need to have this road trip to, you know, like, be happy. So I'm pretty pumped about this. Like, I'm... Wow, I was not expecting this at all, so. Oh man, it's really nice to know you're gonna be in the car with somebody for five hours and then them telling you. Yeah, I'm really sad. So today, we are gonna be going on the best road trip ever. We are gonna be going, guys, this is a surprise. We are gonna be going to every vending machine in Richmond, the city we live in. Probably gonna be a six, maybe seven hour long trip on the road, driving, hopping out of the car, being like, dude, 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 give me some chips, dude, 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 give me a bottle of water. Boom! Best friends till the end, doing it all day. He smile for the. You smile. You just smile. Smile. Oh. <laughs> you just keep finding new ways to just destroy me, don't you? You know I want to go on a road trip. You technically it's on the road. But <laughs> We're going on a road trip, dude. They even dress for the. Hate my life. They even dress for the occasion. I don't know what we're doing. I never do. <laughs> Actually, well, I mean, you, I did say road trip, and it's literally like the fucking rainiest day. I know. And you, what'd you wear? A gray hood. That's gonna be black by the end of the day. <laughs> All right, let's start off this video, guys. Let's go. Okay, I need. I can't do this alone. I could've done this video alone, but I wanted to have my best buddy of all time here to keep me company. You, did. you just, you just need someone to hold a camera in the embarrassing moments, <laughs> so when people look at me, the creeper, filming somebody else, and you could just be like, I don't know that person. Guys, leave it in the comment section down below if you could get anything out of a vending machine. If you go up to a vending machine, put some gold coins in there, and get something out of it, what would it be? For me, it would probably be a loving father. Well, for me, it would be a road trip. I know which one is more important to move. <laughs> and if you want us to do a video where we go to every vending machine in Canada, guys, kick that like button down below. If this video can get to 60,000 likes, we will go on the ultimate road trip, going to every single state. State, oh my, did I actually just say that? We'll go to every single province and get something from each vending machine, guys. Leave it in the comments down below. I don't know, like last time we did something like this, you said Japan, and now Canada. Then you also mentioned the states. Are we going worldwide shopping for... I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> All right, let's head to the first stop. All right, guys, so our game, I don't know where I'm going. Okay, our no, game, guys? No, I said our game plan, guys. What do I, do I turn right or to straight for the auto mall? Uh, go straight. So our game plan for today, I did research last night on where every single place is. Did you? Did you really do research? Yes. I don't think you did. You know why? Because you just asked me for directions. <laughs> I tried to find a website that shows you vending machines and they don't have one, so I made my own map on my phone with the location of every single vending machine in this city. We are going to hit up every single community center, every single mall, we're gonna hit up every single college that's in the vicinity. The only one that is in the vicinity is the one that Jazz Paul went to and dropped out of. <laughs> so, um, he's saying there's, I'm, I'm guessing he spent a lot of time at the vending machines considering he dropped the f out. We're gonna be hitting up the auto mall because I know they have coffee vending machines there. And it's not like we already um, kind of bought in our own coffee. No, we didn't. No, don't show that. Oh, well, guys, guys, no, first for me, guys, I got oh the classic Starbucks coffee. Derek's never got that. I did. I, I had it straight up black, nothing in there. This guy drinks pumpkin spice lattes every other day. And Derek, he's such a liar. Says, he sometimes says, oh, it's a bit too strong for me. And he got black coffee from Starbucks, which literally you know tastes, what, Derek? It tastes like sewage. We have a bunch of other places to go, and there is even a peanut butter vending machine that we're going to visit. This is epic. Let's go to our first stop. That is going to be the auto mall. So first stop was a huge success. First of all, they had a coffee machine so I could get a free coffee, push a little button, and it vends out coffee. Jazz Paul didn't get one because he actually has a heart. And he I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Toyota, their service center, 100% on par. I know. Like, that was, they did really well. Like, if you ever want to go in and just get coffee or and fruit? snacks. Yeah. If I was rate this against Starbucks. Tastes like sh <laughs> so no matter what is inside the vending machines, we have to buy something from each one. So they had a normal drink one. We got a Canada Dry Ginger Ale. Do they have Canada Dry in America? Is that a really- It's probably American Dry. That was probably the worst joke I've ever made in my life. <laughs> so funny, dude. They also had this. This is something you'll only find in Richmond. Uh, this is called Ding Dongs. It was apparently inside the- Hey! 
What? Russian aren't full of dumbos. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that, that joke just went way over everyone. What, I don't what, even. What joke? What do you mean? What joke? I meant like ding dong. You're the Dumbo. <laughs> and they also have. Can you pan that to me. You can do it yourself. I'm not grabbing that from your balls. And for some reason, they also had instant noodles in the vending machine. I guess this is in case anybody comes and they're like waiting for service. Instant noodles, comes, service. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> you, can, you can't have coffee in the morning anymore. I don't even know who you are right now. Your jokes are worse than normal, but the tone you're doing them in makes them more funny. You're literally just saying words and you're pretending they're jokes. That instant noodles as well. We're gonna be filling the entire bin in the back with everything we get today. And we are not leaving until that is full. Let's head to the next stop. Don't show this. I'm not supposed to be drinking this. Damn it. Stop licking your lips and looking at me, Jazz Paul. If you're gonna do that, at least put it on the camera so that I can get some more likes because of your sweet, <laughs> voluptuous, puckerful. Honestly, guys, people say I actually do have very large lips. <laughs> okay, what do you do? No. So, Derek. Start biting me. <laughs> so, we went to every single different car dealership, guys, and we quickly realized that my line, every time we walked in, my line was, hey, do you guys have any vending machines? I just want to grab a snack. And at places like Honda and Toyota, that worked. And uh, honestly, we just went we just went to Ford, Toyota. No, Toyota and Honda. To okay. But for some strange reason, when you ask for a snack, they just pointed to Ryan Swayze's page. <laughs> <laughs> my jokes are so bad. You should have said they just pointed at me. Oh. But I'm not a snack. <laughs> Guys, comment down below. Jazz Paul is a f boy because that's what he's not. We went into Honda, they had two vending machines, guys, and while we were in there, I got myself a Kit Kat, and they had a soda vending machine. Soda. Did I just say soda? Oh my god. Yeah, what's wrong with soda? I'm officially American! What, do you, what else do you call it? Pop. It's called pop, not oh, soda. I call it Dr. Pepper. So I got Dr. Pepper and a Kit Kat. I wanted to match the color scheme, but when we went into places like Audi and frickin' um, Mercedes, Mercedes and the Lamborghini, the Lamborghini store, that's what <laughs> I like to call it. Okay, guys, I'm, a, I'm a regular there. Great so guys. Just, when I walk in, they're just like, hey, Derek, welcome to the Lamborghini store. Want another one? Whenever Derek does get his brand new car, you know he had nothing to do with it. What do you mean? <laughs> I, uh, I was gonna get a McLaren. Guess really? What? Yeah. Name one model of McLaren. But that was the model. <laughs> I thought McLaren was like a Porsche. Yeah, but when they, the different types of Porsches, like Porsche 911, no. Porsche Cayman. I thought McLaren. McLaren. I thought it was a Porsche. You're such a dumbass. You thought a Porsche McLaren existed? What? Every other place when we walked in and I said, hey, do you guys have any snacks uh, or any vending machines? They just told us to get the f out because they, like, people that go to those places to buy cars, they have vending machines at their house. They don't need to come to these places to buy one. We hit up five different vending machines at this mall. We're gonna head over now to college. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we have arrived at Jazz Paul's place of hell. He, Why did you bring up the past? Because it's memories, and now no, it's not, it's not this memory. is coming full circle. Now this is a part of our job no, to find vending machines this across the city. <laughs> All right, um, that was tough, guys. We w just went through college, and we almost sat down in a class and listened to a lecture that we would never f***ing use. It's almost like it's the exact same experience as everyone who's in college right now. <laughs> wow. Drop out, guys. Become YouTubers. That's the way. No, to do that's it. terrible. Don't do um, that. They had a bunch of vending machines. They had the 25 cent vending machines from when you were a kid, and we went to every single one. There were eight, eight entire 25 cent vending machines. We got each one. They had a bunch. Some gave you something little. Some gave you something big. And this is what two dollars got us out of those vending machines. Um, yeah, just kind of a freaking cluster. Of stuff. <laughs> so weird, some things, some items, like they only gave you three of the things. Yeah, like these, which are. Dude, that looks old as hell. Ew. Chocolate covered almonds. They're actually really good. Ew. So we got a bunch of these 25 cent candies, which we'll be snacking on throughout the day. We also got a Fresca, which is this in America too? Yeah. Really? I don't know. <laughs> Back in the day in high school, this was the only good sugar free drink that they had. So this is a huge banger. Must not really. Coke this is a banger. Zero. Coke Zero. This is a banger. Coke Zero. But this is a banger. Yeah, you can have two bangers. Banger, ready? <laughs> Boom, banger. Uh -huh. This is perfect also for the perfect shape to shove straight up your hole and bang yourself with it. This one's a bit too big for that. Let's be honest. Unless your jazz ball and your ass is all loosey goosey. So we're gonna leave all this in? Or <laughs> <laughs> Now, I mean, I probably should edit that stuff out, but I feel like, you know, the fans love it, so you know, YOLO, that's what I always say. Who cares if I don't make any money off any of my videos anymore? <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, she making and the last thing we got was the other drink vending machine, which we got an orange vitamin water, rise, calcium, zero, 
orange um, glacier water apparently in here too, which is perfect. Well, technically, that's not really the last vending machine you went to. There was one more, but you ran off. Flashback. A flashback. So I have to buy it myself, no thanks to you. Okay. You So you co are completing the challenge for us, where's the drink? Well, like you said, it was raining. It's harder to run in the rain. There's more friction and, like, God's pushing you back. <laughs> so, I got so thirsty I had to drink it all up and run back inside to recycle the bottle. Really? Yes. So what'd you pay for it with? I lied, I got Starbucks. That was <laughs> so we gotta go to the next vending machine pretty quick. Jazz Paul has an appointment in a couple hours that he has to go to, but he said he would rather not discuss that on camera. Completely fine with me that he doesn't want to talk about the fact that he's getting his pubes whacked. Oh, come on! So let's head to the next spot. You okay. said it was supposed to be private! It's okay, dude. Don't worry. So you gotta tell some people. I, I can't. You did it once yourself and it was bleeding. You can't have that happen again, okay? I understand it hurts a lot, okay? I tried to do it with my mouth and you said no. This place isn't even a part of the challenge for this city, but we are in the mall right now, and I saw shoes, which, when I was a kid, this was the very, very best 25 cent machine you could get. So just for nostalgia purposes, I have to get something from here. They look extremely old and crusty, but you know what? As you guys can see, these, if you've ever had these, let me know in the comment section down below. This is your- No, they have it because they're not old. These are the best vending machine candy. Oh my- I'm gonna throw up. It's gum. Dude, oh what God. the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Okay, just hit up the first community center and there were five vending machines in there So we got our work set out for us for the rest of the day So as you guys can see by the coldness of my pee pee right now They had four drink machines and one food machine So for the drinks we got ourselves a nice little Dasani water We got ourselves a and diet root beer Shane Dawson is so hyped on this drink This is his favorite drink a and diet root beer. Did you know that? No, cuz you're not a fan! Yes, I am. You're a hater! How do you think Shane lost all that weight? He went on a diet. That's because of A and W. A and W. I shut the f up. <laughs> Uh, we also got ourselves the like this is the most classic thing you'll ever see It's just a red coca-cola can that just tastes like really good, but you gotta get it <laughs> What it's the classic red coca-cola can this tastes just like coca-cola the next drink we have is a nice Arizona green tea and this if you guys can see it says right there great buy 99 cents But in the vending machine it was 275 so that's called inflation. Okay, and I'm gonna immediately take Whoa. a sip of it. What? It sounded like a little, you know, beer action. <laughs> I drank too much. <laughs> I was about to say, says every alcoholic ever. Um, this is Arizona. Have you ever had Arizona green tea? I've never. I've been to Arizona once. This is Arizona. really good for you. It tastes really good. This is a 10 out of 10, guys. Definitely go out, buy this for your grandpa for Christmas. He'll love it. The last thing we got from this community center is this new. I've never seen this before. It's coffee crisp sticks, salted caramel. And we're gonna try this right now for you guys. Give it a little food review. And, uh, ooh, what does this remind you of? Kit Kat, but thicker. I was gonna say our little ding dongs, but that's also me makes sense. There you go. You try one? I don't want it. Why? Why what? do you have to be so difficult? What do you mean? I'm gonna shove it down your throat. Oh. Okay, let's see. This is apparently a caramel flavored coffee crisp. Just tastes like a coffee. <laughs> I don't wanna do anything. What are you water. doing? I don't wanna do Why do you eat it like that? Last time I did ASMR in one of my videos, you guys loved it. So here's a little bit of ASMR. Whoa. Well, you can look at Jazz Paul while I do it. That literally tasted exactly like a normal <laughs> coffee crisp. So we're gonna head to our next spot and grab more vending machine stuff because we're in every vending machine today, baby. Get it. People in Richmond f***ing suck at parking. What kind of f***ing park job is that? Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to mention we also got a bag of dill pickle chips. If you hate dill pickle chips, I hate you. Unsubscribe and follow, you, Jazz, follow Jazz Paul instead. Honestly, if you like, if you don't like dill pickle chips. But if you like dill pickle mm. chips, you can still follow me. Oh my gosh, we are getting so tired from driving around to every single vending machine in the city But we have a very special one that we just went to and that is bulk barn at bulk barn You can get nut butter and honey from vending machines. They freshly make it right I don't know if they freshly make the honey. I don't know if there's like a bunch of bees back there just getting whipped like make it Make the honey right now oh, yeah! 
It's like, really awkward. So the first thing we got here is honey roasted uh, peanut butter. And I actually tried some while we were in there because, you know, I was gonna be respectful of the company and I wanted to try it before I bought it. So we got nice nut butter here that I'm gonna spread onto a bagel or onto Jazz Paul's booty cheeks and just lift that right off, baby! The thing I am most excited for is this nice, just pure honey. If you guys know me, you know I love bread, Starbucks, and I will eat just spoonfuls of honey. And this actually came out of a vending machine, so. Ooh, I only eat honey mm. when I'm sick. Really? Yeah, I, I like Wait, to have so it with lemon water. You eat me when you're sick? Cause um, you're a honey! <laughs> So yeah, this is this was probably the coolest thing we're gonna get today. And now we're probably gonna go buy some socks because that is a vending machine in the city. Even though we did it last time, we probably have to go again. There's about six more vending machines inside that bowling alley. And right next to it is the uh, Water Mania, which has five more. Awkward. Yeah. Moments later. All right, guys, um, we just left the bowling alley and something happened that I was not prepared. I was- It's not even that bad, okay? So, did you see the footage? The footage you're about to see is 100% real and may be triggering to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. It was out of order. M what's wrong with that? Okay, you just couldn't get to your socks. Who cares? Four oh, I was excited for socks. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my do you Oh my god, dude. Do you see all the stuff we got today? Yeah. The one thing I needed was a new pair of socks. I've been running. Okay, running like a fucking normal dude who works out. Dude, you're a millionaire and you can't I'm get just normal I'm socks. I'm a millionaire. Yeah. I'm a millionaire. You're a millionaire. You wouldn't even show you can't even show your socks in this video cuz they're gold-plated encrusted Gucci <laughs> Louis no Vuitton sense socks, at dude. All, dude. That's I'm gonna, I'm going to get socks. Why? No, what? Are you- No, you're not getting socks, dude. That's I'm, so dumb. I, no. The only thing I was excited for today was socks. You Derek, know what? Are you kidding me right now? What the f- We're gonna get- No, we're socks. not getting socks! I'm getting socks! I'm putting this car in turbo and we're getting socks. Oh, shit! Whoa. We're at London Drugs. I'm going in and getting a freaking pair of socks, okay? I really hate you right now. Why? I really hate you right now. Why do you hate me? Why did we go all the way to London Drugs to buy socks? Because I was expecting socks and I did not get socks! I wanna get my socks rocked with a cock! I mean, okay. yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. You just wait here, okay? Oh my god. Did he even roll the windows down for me? He has socks right there. It's disgusting. Ew! Ew! Dude, the ground is wet! Oh my god, this guy is so stupid. What's he doing? He literally has no socks on. Ew! This is disgusting! You're so gross. Why do you why? There was no need to do that. No, you what? You have no shoes or socks on. Because I walked it's disgustingly wet outside. I walked in with my socks and they made me take them off because they were gross. So You're, I bought more. I don't understand what you want from me. Honestly. Like, what do you want me to do? I want a normal friend. Normal friends aren't fun. Okay. This isn't fun either. Can you do this with your normal friend that you did with me? <laughs> no, you can't do that with anybody else but me. What did you even show? I don't no! <laughs> I'll think about that later! Oh yes, feel that clean sock! Oh my gosh, this is way better. This is the only reason I filmed this video today, because I wanted more socks. And if I can't get them from a vending machine, I'm gonna go and buy them myself. Just once, can you just be normal? I like how you're the one telling me to be normal, coming from the guy who, one, enjoys dressing up like a super girl. No, I don't. No, you don't. What are you going for as Halloween, Jazz Paul? Yeah. Literally the day this video- day after this You're gonna have to check out my YouTube channel to find out. Oh, I also forgot that we, um, also, while we were at the bowling alley, not only did we not get socks, but there was a nice vending machine there that we got a nice rock star from as well going into our collection So weird dude, I swear to god And that's probably gonna explode after it just it shook up there definitely will explode Alright, now we're heading over to Water Mania to grab something from their vending machine And then after that guys, we're heading to our old high school Fantastic. Get it! And I got, look at these, look at these socks Can you sniff them? Please <laughs> oh! Sniff oh! oh! Why do you make those f***ing noises? That's just my natural noise That's what your do you do? moaning noise How do you know that? All right, so we just got back from Water Mania, and what we got out of that vending machine was these garden salsa chips, and Jazz Paul requested these for his snack, so he's gonna get those. Huh? Sorry, what? It's free. It's free, so you be quiet, and you eat it, and you enjoy it. Or, you can eat these nuts. 
And for my little snack, I know you guys want to see what these are like, the Ding Dong snack mix. So this is what I'm going to be eating right now. So I'm going to try the Ding Dong. Jasper's going to try the uh, Sun Chips, and we're going to review them and see. The Ding Dongs is like a nice mixture of dried peas. We can, yep, just open the chips while I'm talking, why don't you? So we got some chips in there, we got some nuts in there. It looks pretty good. This is actually good. I'm gonna try this, actually. Those are really good. Those are like my favorite sun chips. Knowing Jazz Paul is gonna make that disgusting face he always makes when he tries a chip. And it's like, I don't like Wow. It. This is actually... You're such a I'm joking. That was actually really good. Yeah. But I like the French onion ones better. You always just gotta make everything negative, don't you? I'm just telling you. <laughs> Why don't you just enjoy some chips with your buddy on a day where we've gone to so many vending machines and we're about to go back to our old high school. If you were at a vending machine, would you buy that again? Yeah. Really? But if there was a French onion sun chip version of this, then I wouldn't. Okay. But I would say, I would say 10, out, 10 out of 10. So what the hell is the French onion one? 12 out of 10. This ding dong stuff, I thought it would be like very bland and weird, but it honestly is like a mixture of chips, nuts, some peas, and some puff balls. And it's actually really, really good. You wanna try some? I'm good. Can I try a chip? No. I bought them though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this right now. Derek's not gonna do this, he'll never do it. Do what? You know, lead lady in front, let's go. That. that was way too close to a kiss and that's not happening ever. All right, we're gonna finish our food. We'll see you guys in a second. Shut my bed. <laughs> All right, so we are heading back to our high school because that is the only other place we know where there are vending machines. We haven't been back here in quite a long time. The last time we came back here, we used their gym to film me dressed as Superman. So going back, we have to, I don't want to see anybody. Jasper definitely doesn't want to see anybody because he, he's done a couple things here that we cannot talk about. Guys, this is bad. I left my change for the vending machine in the car and Jasper had to stay inside the school to hold the door open. If a teacher sees him, there's gonna be a lot of awkward conversation. So I have to get back as soon as possible. Or I could just drive away and he could wait there forever for me. Now I need to keep him as my cameraman. I'm gonna knock it, knock it into the- Got the change. Let's go save Jasper. Okay, that's oh. not gonna fit, buddy guy. Yes, it will. My car isn't that small, okay? Jesus, stop. You're really making it awkward here. <laughs> it's so funny when Jasper genuinely feels awkward. <laughs> I do. Because he gets so serious. I do. If it was, if it was a joke, he'd be like, stop, stop. But the second I like, stop. This is very uncomfortable, so I would try and hold this bin, but I'm gonna do magical powers of editing. Oh my God, look. So just finishing up editing this video, and um, Jazz Paul forgot to hit record for the outro. So everything that we filmed doesn't exist. Give a round of applause for Cameraman of the Year. So all that footage is gone. Um, now I'm just kind of stuck here lying in bed editing. Peggy Sue's over there literally licking her own butthole, cleaning it. Kind of resembles uh, my entire life right now. But thank you guys so much for watching this video of us hitting every single vending machine in our city. It was a fun experience. It was very long, but also very hard. Kind of like getting in bed with me, <laughs> except for the hard part, because I can never get it up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Always remember the motto of do good, die great. I will see you all very soon for the next one and have a fantastic day. All right, bye. People are sleeping and I can't be too loud. So that's all you're going to get. Hey.